Hello everyone, in today's Extend Script quick tip tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to identify what application you're inside of. This is a feature that's not built into any of the scripting, and it's sort of a workaround we've developed to identify whether you're using Adobe Premiere or After Effects. This can be super useful as when you're using scripts or extensions, which go hand in hand, you can have extensions that work in both After Effects and Premiere. So if you have one, how do you tell the script, this is the code to execute for Premiere, and this is the code you need to execute if you're in After Effects? Well, today we're going to take a look at that solution, and the solution is basically going to tell us what app we are connected to. In this case, you can see we're connected to Premiere, and if we switch over to After Effects, you can see it's going to tell us we're now in After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see this is just a really quick script. I don't even need to go over it, so let's just create a new JavaScript file and zoom in here. The first thing we need to do is decide how are we going to identify the difference between these two programs. There is a ton of different ways that we can do it. Looking at the scripting guide, if we go to the global functions and just below the application object, you can see we have access to things like the version number of the app, the project, and other settings that we can identify. But none of this is going to actually tell us, hey, this is After Effects. So what we can basically do is use a little workaround that involves using literally anything inside of here that's not inside of Premiere. So what I've gone ahead and decided is to use app.numItems. So if I create a variable called check and set this equal to our app.project.numItems. Now if you're familiar with After Effects, this will count the number of items inside of our project panel here. So if I put in a couple of folders and said I want to check the check here, you can see it's going to give us seven because we just created seven folders. But think about it, if we've tried this in Premiere, we have all of these elements inside of here. Let's check it, we'll connect it to Premiere and run it. We're going to get undefined as a result because num items is not something we can use inside of Premiere. So because of this, we're going to get a number from zero to n, however many items there are, if we're in After Effects. But if we're in Premiere, we're going to get undefined. So as you might be able to extrapolate, that is how we're going to identify the program. So if we just check if our check is equal to undefined, which remember is equal to Premiere, I also want to say if it's null, or if it's null, then it's going to be Premiere. Otherwise, it's going to be After Effects. So now we just need a variable to store like a string that we can check this for. We'll just call it like a version name. So if the check is undefined, if the number of items comes back as undefined or null, essentially that means we're going to have Premiere. So I'll set version name equal to Premiere and end a semicolon here. And if it's not the case, and if we do have at least zero or more layers, then we know it's After Effects. So I'll say version name is equal to After Effects. Finally, let's go ahead and write this to our console here. We'll write the version name and run it. So you can see now if we run it inside of Premiere, we're going to get Premiere. And if we switch over to AE, we're now going to get After Effects. All right, guys, I hope you found this tutorial useful. It's a very simple but effective method at identifying what application you're in, which is not something built in natively to extend script. Be sure to smash the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Hit the subscribe button for more uploads. And as always, we'll see you next week.